let's welcome the first lady of the great nation of Kenya. Our guest on us today, Mr. and Mrs. Kayanja, Pastor Robert and Jessica Kayanja, parents to Robert, and the parents and the family of Marina, uh, Honorable Judy, the Minister for Lands, all the government officials, from the judiciary and other government institutions, um, brothers and sisters from Uganda. Good evening. Good evening. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Amen. I want to take this opportunity, first of all, to thank the Almighty God for enabling us to come to this great celebration of our children. Like Pastor Kayan has said, yes, we were doing other things in another country and today we have met that uh, we don't make it here because uh, the program was still going on. But I purposed that by the grace of God we will come and be with our children. <laughs> and we celebrate this great day. I was talking to someone the other day in Kenya and I was telling them that I don't see many young people uh, wedding or having this kind of ceremonies. And so to see young people like Robert and Marina do this, it really excites my heart. And for me, I would not miss this for anything. And just like Pastor Robert has said, we have known one another through the challenges that we went through uh, with my husband in our country at ICC and Pastor Robert and Jessica stood with us uh, through the many years that we were darkness until the Lord saw us through. And I just want to thank God for Pastor Jessica also. Just the other day we met in Kenya uh, when she had come to preach at Apostle Sufi's church and we had a great uh, Fellowship. I remember I'd also just come into the country and she was leaving very early the next day and we had the fellowship into the night just thanking God because of his goodness. And before I say one or two things that I want to say, allow me to bring you greetings from the President of the Republic of Kenya, my husband. Uganda, <laughs> and we were talking with the minister today and he was saying, please continue uh, planting maize because uh, we keep getting a lot of maize because the people of Kenya would like to eat Ugali. I think you like to eat matoke. So please grow the maize for us <laughs> so that we can have our Ugali. And of course, we have a lot to learn from Uganda. We want to thank God for your president and your first lady, uh, my sister, uh, Janet. And we, we just love you people, the people of Uganda, because we share a lot in the East Africa community. And so just allow me to read the word of God. Um, just a verse uh, that I wanted to share. But a prudent wife is from the Lord. So I just want to say, Robert Jr., that the wife that God has given you is indeed from him, from the Almighty God. You know, you can inherit many things from your parents, but a good wife from what we are seeing of your dear wife. Just know that she has come from the Lord. And I just want to um, share a few things, a few thoughts I was thinking about, even as I knew that I was going to be speaking uh, this evening. And I want to share with you just a few C's that will help you in your marriage. The first C is communication. And I know maybe uh, during your uh, premarital counseling, and talking to different people, uh, they have mentioned issues of communication. Continue communicating. You know, when uh, you get a girl that you love, you know, communication. I think your mom is the one who said, you could not stop being on the phone. You are communicating. Let that communication continue, even in marriage. The other C is connect. Continue connecting with her because, you know, many a times once people get married, Sometimes the connection, even through communication, can stop. 
but continue connecting and loving one another. The other C is be committed to this marriage. And maybe sometimes we assume that challenges may not come in our marriages, but definitely once in a while issues come. Be committed, the same way you are committed in courtship until today, even in this journey of marriage, be committed and the Lord is going to help you. Be compassionate, you know, looking at your parents. They are compassionate about uh, communities, compassionate about helping people. When you go to Miracle Center, Chapel, Cathedral, you see the many people and the compassion. Your father is doing a lot in Karamoja because he's compassionate about the people of this great country. May that spirit be with you and may you be compassionate. Uh, and to Melina, culture is the other C. You are coming to a people whose culture is different. Uh, I know you mentioned something that Robert loves to eat, but I know also in Uganda we love matoke. So uh, I'm sure uh, sometimes maybe you eat matoke and I don't know how it tastes. In Kenya when visitors come and we give them ugali, they say it is tasteless. But you see, you have come to a people who have their culture, the way they, they do their things, the way they eat, the way they behave, the way they talk. You go to some families and everybody talks in silence. Other people like to talk on top of their voices. All that is about culture. How I pray that you will learn the culture of the Kayanjas and be able just uh, to get into it uh, as soon as possible. Community that I've seen with the Kayanjas is helping communities. May that be your portion also, so that you may help the communities, not just of Uganda, not just of Africa, but of the world. And the other C, and what I love about what God has done, is that it is through the cross of Jesus Christ that you are here today. Continue working out your salvation with fear and trembling. It is the death of Jesus Christ when he was hung on the cross that we are here today. Let salvation never leave your home. Like we said in the church, continue praying and continue preaching Christ even to other generations. And so I pray that the Lord will continue to bless you and the Lord will increase you. The Lord will give you many children as your father has said, 21 twins, isn't it? And mommy is here to be able to take care of these children. And of course, we'll continue to support you in prayer. And as I finish, I'm also going to finish with a gift uh, that we brought all the way from Nairobi, uh, from my family. And it is also a seed, and it is a prostitute. And so I'd like to ask that you come and receive. The many people know prostitute. This work is handmade. And it is, uh, it's called cross stitch, and it is made of thread and, uh, and fabric and material. And you know, when I thought about this gift, Robert, I think you must have seen a flower in ma ma Marina. And so uh, today, uh, as you hang this in your gift, anytime you look at it, continue to love her the way you have loved her and danced with her, continue to cherish her, continue to take care of her, and let that smile continue to remain in her until she becomes old like her grandmother and she can continue to dance. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. This is from us. Myself and the President of Kenya, my husband and our children, and the team that came with us. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. My name is Suga Mustafa. I'm Kourani Alihila Holdings, Uganda Limited. I'm a member of Biodigester. I'm a member of Kwenjaulo. So, I'm a member of Kwenjaulo. I'm a member of Biodigester. Uh, Changa ule chiri wanti yo elimo basement wakati Okusinzi ili angabu lijoe ba nituwe mchilaba Ti eno parking, parking road So eli wansi wansi edi Parking road elimo basement Lelo tuko the size ya bantu Bitano Ngeira eli e, 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 nakapaste okusavi nge chizimbe chino chonanga uchina avela Waneno ngele mingaso jabu lije 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 jabu Six six nine nine two. Ne MTN zero seven eight nine two two four two thirty. Enabe zona kwezili WhatsApp.